What up, Pittsburgh Steel fans? Breaking news. The Steelers apparently are hiring Arthur Smith, the former Falcons and Tennessee Titans offensive coordinator and head coach as the Pittsburgh Steelers offensive coordinator. Well, I didn't love it, Steelers fans. I didn't love it when I was heard that he was interviewing. I didn't love it when I heard that he was going to be hired. It went out, broke out to Tom Pulisero. It went across everyone, CBS, The Athletic, ESPN, uh, NFL.com. I waited till NFL.com did it and then wanted to put this video together for you. Uh, at, now when it goes 5 p.m. on the East Coast, look, he is going to be the Steelers' offensive coordinator. Why didn't we love it? We went through all the rankings a couple of days ago. I will link that video into this. But effectively, Arthur Smith, yes, Arthur Smith, this guy, is going to be your offensive coordinator for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And this is a guy that has not been able to, his teams have not scored 30 points more than four times, 30 points or more, four times in the last three seasons. Now, how many times have happened with the Pittsburgh Steelers? Four times as well. We didn't love it with Matt Canada. Are we going to love it with Arthur Smith? Now, in fairness, Arthur Smith does coach a very good rushing attack. He will coach a better rushing attack um, than what Matt Canada will coordinate, let's say, a better rushing attack than what Matt Canada did. But the reality remains is in the passing game, that is where the Steelers need to improve the most. And that is not his area of strength. So the Steelers hiring a very good quarterback coach is going to be absolutely essential. I don't love this as well because I don't. I have said all offseason you need to hire, you need to do the Mike Tomlin extension before you bring in Arthur Smith. If Mike Tomlin does not sign an extension between now and the start of the season, which would be very odd for the Steelers, then are the Steelers simply looking to replace Mike Tomlin? So I don't think this has been necessarily well handled there. The second thing is. Clint Kubiak would have been a key target for them unless they actually know and Clint's knocked them back. And I have not seen a report that they requested an interview. Why couldn't they wait another week, but but still wait for Super Bowl and interview him then and then make the decision? I know the Senior Bowl happens this weekend. I talked about, we've got two videos out on the channel about Senior Bowl. It would be helpful to have an offensive coordinator at the Senior Bowl. However, you should not rush your offensive coordinator choice purely for the one event on that draft schedule. Khan, Tomlin, the our current Steelers coaches that are there should be able to get that done at a minimum. Their scouting team should be able to get that done enough. After, even your, Arthur Smith, if you want, you were still going to hire him, you could say, if you want to still be in our hiring process, you've got to go there. Maybe another team wanted him, fine. But effectively, I still don't love the pick. I don't love the pick, as I said, because or, or the hire, or because of the passing situation. The best he has done as OC or HC is a 16th ranked in the league of passing offense in terms of yardage. When you look at touchdowns, yes, he's had two seasons with eight eight touchdowns. Um, he was his eighth best in the league. However, that was with Tannehill, who at that time was playing better or is better or was better than Kenny Pickett or Mason Rudolph are now. Pure and simple. With Derrick Henry there, opening up the pass game. Now, maybe that's the thing. Maybe it's like, well, if he can get the run game firing even more, then we open up the play action. But it's, it's still, that's the only thing it's got going for it. So admittedly, it's not been as bad as Matt Canada's offense, but it's not a great improvement. This guy isn't going to, you're not going to start seeing the Steelers score 35 points per game. And the 30 points per game issue that I talk about is massive. If you want to win and make an AFC championship game, you need to be able to score 30 points in more than half the games you play. That's Facts, that's statistics, that's the numbers. In terms of interceptions, his teams don't give a lot of a lot of interceptions. Um, that that that's pretty helpful. Uh, certainly in terms of if you turn the ball over, that's probably very attractive to Mike Tomlin. But quite honestly, at the same time, you still sit there and you go, really, really. And so I think for me, that's the one thing that when I look at this, Mike Tomlin has to get this decision right. If my, if this does not go well this season and Mike Tomlin has an extension, Mike Tomlin needs to be looking over his shoulder big time about what the Steelers are going to do. People have heard the Art Rooney comments. I actually thought Art Rooney was quite soft in what he said. Um, maybe Art Rooney and, uh, likes Arthur. Maybe it's in the name. I'm sure it's bigger than that. I'm not that silly. But quite honestly, I don't love it. If you're out there and you're a fan that does love the move, Awesome. Tell like I'd love to know more in the comments about that. We're not, I'm not going to contest any of that. I'm just interested to know what people do like about Arthur Smith. For me, I have huge concerns about them doing this. It's not the hire that I thought they needed to make. 
it's going to be pretty disappointing if people like the enemy, you know, are sitting there and become available. I know the Steelers love their run game. I know the Steelers love their defense. But you've got to be able to pass the football. Even the Patriots get that. That's why they're moving on from Belichick. But this is what we've got. And this is what we're going to have to watch this upcoming season. Can he get it done? We'll, ha- we'll only have to wait and see. As always, go Steelers.